Alright, g'day guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I'm going to be doing another tutorial tonight. We're going to be doing a fairly fun and pretty simple product setup. Um, this is a technique you can use for anything, whether it's jewellery, um, you know, just, just anything in a product sense. Now, uh, it's some of the, the equipment I'm using tonight, you don't have to be using the exact same sort of gear. Uh, speed lights are fine, uh, cheap eBay mono blocks are fine. We'll run through all of that in a little bit. Um, what I want to go over is just the lighting setup. It's a three-point lighting setup. It's very, very simple to do, and uh, we'll run through all of that in a minute. Uh, I do want to apologize for my lack of videos over the last couple of months. Um, work has been pretty crazy and I've been working towards something a little bit bigger with these tutorials that should benefit uh, everyone so I'm really looking forward to updating you guys on that um, other than that let's run through all the setup I'll go through uh, the camera setup the lighting setup um, settings all that kind of stuff uh, as I said you know don't, don't worry about this equipment you can use the same sort of cheap gear and uh, we'll talk about that more in a little bit so we'll run through everything now um, basically what we're going to be doing is photographing this lovely American honey bottle. Um, it's a very great drink, absolutely love it. Uh, what we've got for the lighting setup is I ha I'm using Elenchrom lights at the moment, these are 600 watt seconds and because 600 watt seconds is quite powerful, it's a lot more power than um, a speed light, I've got the power right down low. As you can see this little green knob uh, adjusts the power so that's all the way up and that's all the way down obviously. Um, so I need it all the way down. Uh, at the back, this is going to be my master light. It's SB900. Uh, this will be triggering off the other two Elenchrom lights. They are working as the slaves, and this will be the master. Um, so the little one's controlling the big guys. Uh, again, exact same settings over here. This is the back of the other 600 watt second Elenchrom light. As I said, uh, power is all the way down. So just keep that in mind. These lights do have a lot of power. So any kind of product stuff you can use, uh, you know, very, very low intensity of light. Um, also, I'm using just a bare bulb. I'm not using any kind of um, light modifier or diffuser or softbox or umbrella, anything like that, solely because I want to have more of a harsh look to the photograph. Uh, as I said, uh, the, the wild turkey body is what we're going to be photographing. Uh, I'm just using my Nikon D3S and a 24 to 70 lens. Um, don't let the camera fool you. You can use any camera, whether it's a, a Nikon D50 or a T3 Canon or a 60D or a 7D Canon. Doesn't really matter. Uh, worry more about the lighting setup and the uh, settings. So, uh, settings-wise, we are going for. Let me just, sorry, dear guys. Let me, just, let me just focus this. Settings, we are going for ISO 200. I'm shooting in RAW, so I'm specifically shooting an automatic white balance because the, the temperature is not going to matter. Uh, lighting, uh, sorry, shutter speed will be 200th of a second. F11 for my aperture. Sorry, I'll just show you there. F11 for my aperture. Uh, and the reason I'm shooting at 200th of a second is that's the sync limit um, for both the mono blocks and the speed light so I can't shoot any quicker than that otherwise I'm going to get uh, otherwise I'm going to get what's called shutter banding and you'll see a black mark come across the screen um, okay so I'm going to put the camera down and you should be able to see what I'm doing let me just focus for you guys I'm doing this very quickly tonight so apologies so you should be able to see everything there alright cool so what I'm going to do now it, hopefully you can still hear me is I'm just going to take a couple of photographs now I'm going to set my camera up on a timer because I'm going to be spraying water across the bottle and you'll see exactly what I mean now I do need to turn this light off because even though I'm shooting at 200th of a second at f11 uh, with this 2000 watt light it's probably going to pick up some ambient light so I'm going to kill this light so it might go dark there we go as you can now see it's probably gone darker yes of course uh, Alright, so I'm going to take some photographs now. Sorry, let me just change these settings to see if you can see a little bit more. Okay, so you might be able to see a little bit more of what I'm doing now. Uh, my house light is on, but that doesn't have enough power to affect the actual exposure. Uh, so I'll just put the camera back down. Again, sorry guys, doing this really quickly. And I'm just going to set my focus. So I'm focusing right in on the bottle, it's in the center of the frame again 200th of a second, f11, ISO 200 shooting in RAW of course for this kind of stuff there's so much more power in RAW and focusing and down goes the timer now what I'm going to do is start spraying water straight on top of it
All right. Okay, cool. Now, in all honesty, let's have a look at that photograph. It's not too bad. Let me just lower my ISO so you can see. And I'll change my focus. And there you go. So it's not, sorry guys, it's really, really hard to focus. It's not too bad, but guess what? I don't like it because there's too much water. I sprayed, I sprayed way too much water. So it's a very simple fix. Let's go back and do it again. So I'll just brighten this up for you guys. Focus. I'm doing this really dodgy tonight. So let's go again. Same sort of thing. I'm going to focus in right on the bottle. Good to go. Alright, got a timer going. I'm going to come in more from the side this time. Start spraying. Now, I didn't spray anywhere near as much water that time. And that's giving me a much better effect. Yep, I'm very, very happy with that. So, I'll show you what that looks like. Sorry guys, let me just focus for you. And drop the ISO. So you can see. There you go. So, it look, it's kind of strange. It's coming up quite blue on the, on the screen from what I'm recording. But it's got more of a warm feel to it. But I'll put these up in the... I'll put these up in the... Um, in the video so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Let's see if I can just focus in more for you. Focus is all over the shop, don't worry about that. Anyway, yeah, so that's what it looks like. That's the result. Uh, yeah, and that looks kind of cool. So let's try one more thing. I'll try spraying from the back. And let's see what that looks like. So I'll spray from the back this time. Again, focus in, make sure that I always focus, and usually you should be switching to manual focus. Once you focus and you change to manual, leave it on there and it should be sweet. I'm just double checking. Especially because I'm shooting at f11, I've got, a, I've got a really great depth of field. So I'm going to jump around the back and spray behind the speed light. And let's see what that looks like. Um, obviously, very little changes such as movements like that yeah there you go so that looks that looks completely different more of the more of the bottle is fo in focus from the front because I was spraying from the back you can still very clearly see the water sorry guys do the same old thing so there you go you can still very clearly see the water um, but it's a, it's just a different kind of a look so let's go so that's that one that I just shot and that's the one before so I'll put these up on the screen, you'll be able to see exactly what I mean. But what I wanted to talk about is lens flare. Now, as you can see in the corners up here in the corner there, in the corner there. Um, sorry guys, the focus is jumping out. You can see I'm in focus there and then I move a centimeter and it's out. It's because I'm shooting at 2.8. <laughs> but what I wanted to talk about is the lens flare. Now, because I am shooting with a bare bulb, firstly. Uh, the light is coming from this light. This is this is my uh, this is my left light, and it's coming directly across and it's hitting the side of the bottle, and the exact opposite for the one over there. It's coming across and hitting the right side of the bottle. Now, because I'm shooting with a bare bowl, uh, you get an effect called lens flare, and that's light jumping into the lens and bouncing around on all the optics and giving you that kind of a uh, that kind of a halo effect. Uh, it, it can sometimes be very annoying and it can sometimes be kind of cool. So this, in this effect, it works perfectly to what I want. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's, that's an effect that you can always try. So again, uh, these are the two lights that are working as slaves and the key light, or not so much the key light, it kind of is the key light, uh, as the, the rear light over there. So that's the, the master. Um, anyway, guys, I'll do a little bit of an edit on these photographs. I'll show you the pure raw photographs straight out of the camera and then I'll do a quick edit and put them at the end of this video and you'll be able to see the effect. <laughs> anyway, I hope this helped guys. Um, I'll catch up with you soon and I've got some really, really big news so I'm really looking forward to uh, being able to help everyone more. Alright, I'll talk to you all soon. Alright, bye.